Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang measure of interior and exterior angles of polygons. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang measure of interior and exterior angles of polygons. So, Bago tayo dumako sa pinaka-formula na i-consider natin sa measures of interior and exterior angles of polygons, is recall muna natin yung difference between the concave and convex polygon. So, pag sinabi natin convex polygon, let's say we have this polygon. Kapag nag-draw tayo ng two points in this polygon, let's say these two points, at kinonect natin yung segment sa points na to, Kung itong whole segment na nadraw natin from these two points ay naglalay entirely yung buong length niya dito sa polygon, then masasabi natin convex itong polygon. Likewise, kung meron tayong polygon like this, so kahit sa ang part tayo magdraw ng dalawang points, let's say itong point na to at itong point na to, at i-connect natin, then yung whole segment ulit is naglalay inside dito sa polygon. So, yun yung tawag natin convex polygon. Now, pag sinabi natin convex, ito naman yung kabaliktaran. So, let's say meron tayong polygon like this. So, pag nag-draw tayo ng dalawang points within this polygon at kinonect natin, so, mapapansin nyo this time, hindi na naglalay entirely itong segment dito sa loob ng polygon. Kasi, Etong portion na to is inside pero etong portion na to nung segment ay outside na nung interior nung polygon. So kapag nakakita kayo ng case kung saan kapag nagdraw kayo ng two points sa polygon at din draw nyo yung segment from those two points and then hindi lahat nung length nung segment na yon is naglalay inside doon sa polygon, then that is a concave polygon. So sige sa pang illustration for concave polygon. Okay, if I try to draw points here and here at kinonek natin yung segment, again, hindi lahat ng segment natin is naglalay inside the polygon. So, therefore, it is a concave polygon. Okay? So, in this video, ang lahat ng i-consider nating polygon is convex polygon. Okay? Now, ano naman yung tinatawag nating interior at exterior angles of polygons? So, let's say meron tayong five-sided polygon, like pentagon. So, this is an example of convex polygon, right? So, from the word itself, interior angle, ito yung mga angles inside this pentagon. So, dahil meron tayong five sides, meron din tayong five interior angles. At yung mga angles na yon ay this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle. So, lahat ng angles inside dito sa pentagon. Okay? Paano naman yung exterior angles? So, kung meron tayong limang interior angles, pwede rin tayong magkaroon ng limang exterior angle. So, yung exterior angle is yung angle na nagpo-form ng linear pair doon sa ating mga interior angles kapag in-extend natin yung isang particular side. So, let's say dito sa side natin na to, Pag in-extend ko ito, etong angle natin na to is called an exterior angle. Kasi nagpo-form siya ng linear pair dito sa ating interior angle na to. Or their sum is 180 degree. Okay? Likewise, for this segment, pag in-extend natin, this is also an exterior angle na linear pair dito sa interior angle natin na to. Okay? So, doing the same with the remaining sides, so, ito is exterior angle then. Ito ay exterior angle then. Ito ay exterior angle then. Okay? Now, pumunta na tayo sa formula at theorems para mahanap natin yung measures ng interior at exterior angles of polygons. So, mag-start tayo sa sum of measures of interior angle of convex polygons. So, sabi, the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex polygon with n sides is quantity n minus 2 times 180 degree. 
Okay, so self-explanatory lang. So, given that we have an n-sided polygon, meaning meron siyang n-sides, then yung sum ng interior angles natin is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degree. So, pwede natin i-consider dito yung triangle. So, alam natin na yung sum ng interior angles ng ating triangle is always 180 degree, right? So, how many sides does a triangle have? So, n is equal to 3 for triangles. It has 3 sides, right? Now, using this formula, para mahanap yung sum ng interior angles natin is n minus 2 times 180 degree. So, pag sinubstitute natin yung n is equal to 3, so 3 minus 2 times 180 degree, we have 3 minus 1 is 1 times 180 degree, we have 180 degree. So, na-prove natin by this formula na yung sum ng interior angles natin for the triangle is 180 degree. Okay? Next, we have the sum of measures of exterior angle of convex polygon. So, sabi, the sum of measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon with end sides is 360 degree. Okay, so this time, kahit anong convex polygons yung i-consider natin, kahit anong value ng n or number of sides niya, lagi ang sum ng exterior angles ay 360 degree. So, constant. So, let's say meron tayong triangles. So, pag dinro natin yung tatlong exterior angles niya, let's say angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. So, dapat yung sum ng tatlong exterior angles natin is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so kahit quadrilateral man yan, pentagon, heptagon, hexagon, dapat laging 360 degrees yung sum ng exterior angles nila. Okay? Na meron tayong consequence base dito sa mga formula natin sa sum ng exterior at interior angles ng polygons. So, kapag nag-consider tayo this time ng mga regular polygons, so kapag sinabi natin regular polygons, alam natin na lahat ng side lengths ay congruent as well as yung kanilang mga interior angles. Iisa lang din yung kanilang sukat, right? So, kapag consider natin yung measure ng isang interior at exterior angle ng any regular polygon, meron tayong formula. So, for the interior angle muna, sabi the measure of an interior angle of a regular convex polygon with n sides is n minus 2 times 180 degree divided by n. So, it makes sense, right? Kasi, di ba alam natin na yung sum ng interior angles ng convex polygon with n side is n minus 2 times 180 degree. So, para mahanap yung measure ng isang interior angle, which is dapat lahat ng interior angles natin is congruent, right? Di-divide lang natin yung sum of measures of interior angles by n. Para makuha natin yung measure ng single interior angle ng regular convex polygon. Okay? Then para naman sa exterior angle, sabi the measure of an exterior angle of a regular convex polygon with n sides is 360 degree divided by n. Okay? So kanina, since alam natin na yung sum ng exterior angles ng any polygon is 360 degree, so, para makuha din natin yung measure ng isang exterior angle ng regular convex polygon, di-divide lang din natin by n. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung na-discuss natin concepts and formula for the measure of interior and exterior angles of polygons and mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, for the first one, we have find the sum of the measures of interior and exterior angles of... Okay, so meron tayong lima... So, let's start with A, which is a triangle daw. So, sige, gawa tayo ng table. So, sum of interior, then sum of exterior. So, sa triangle, ang N natin is 3, right? Pero alam naman natin na kanina to, so sum ng measures ng interior angle natin is N minus 2 times 180 degree. So, substitute natin, Yung n, so 3 minus 2 times 180 degree, we have 180 degree pa rin. So therefore, for triangle, sum of interior is 180 degree. And then for sum of exterior, alam natin na constant lagi kahit anong polygon, 360 degree. Okay? Next, for quadrilateral naman, so n natin dito is 4, right? 
So, substitute 4 minus 2 times 180 degree is equal to 360 degree. So, therefore, sum of interior is 360 degree. Sum of exterior is 360 degree. Next, for decagon, ang decagon has 10 sides, right? So, n is 10. So, substitute natin sa formula. 10 minus 2 times 180 degree is equal to what? So, 8 times 180, right? Or it is equal to 1440. So therefore, sum of interior is 1440 degrees. Sum of exterior is constant 360 degree. Next, we have 25-sided polygon. So N is 25. So substitute natin yung N na 25. So 25 minus 2 times 180 degree. So 23 times 180 and right equal to 4140. So, sum of interior is 4140 degree and sum of exterior is also 360 degree. Last, we have 52-sided polygons. So, obviously, N is 52. Substituting the values of N in the formula, we have 52 minus 2 times 180 degree or 50 times 180, right? It is equal to 9000 degree. So, sum of interior is 9000 degree. Sum of exterior is also 360 degree. Okay, next we have find the measure of its exterior and interior angle of a regular. Okay, so meron ulit tayong limang polygon. So this time, hinahanap naman yung measure ng single exterior at interior angle ng regular polygon. So sige, gawa ulit tayong table. Interior and exterior angle. So for triangle, ang N natin is 3, right? So, yung formula natin for interior angle is N minus 2 times 180 degree divided by N. So, substitute natin yung value ng N na 3. We have 3 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 3. So, it is equal to what? 60 degree, right? So, therefore, interior is 60. And for the exterior angle, meron tayong formula na 360 degree divided by N. So, 360 degree divided by 3, we have 120 degree. So, exterior angle is 120 degree. Okay? Next, for quadrilateral, n natin is 4, right? So, substituting the values, we have 4 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 4. So, it is equal to what? 90 degree. So, for the interior angle, the measure is 90 degree. For the exterior, 360 degree divided by 4, we have 90 degree then. So, therefore, the exterior is 90 degree. Next, for pentagon, n natin is 5. So, substitute the values. 5 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 5, it is equal to what? 108 degree. So, therefore, the interior angle of regular pentagon is 108 degree. Then, for the exterior angle, 360 degree divided by 5, we have 72 degree. So, exterior angle of a regular pentagon is 72 degree. Next, for hexagon, n natin is 6. So, substitute the values, we have 6 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 6. It is equal to what? equal to 120 degree. So, for hexagon, the interior angle is 120 degree. Then, for exterior, 360 degree divided by 6 or it is equal to 60 degree. So, the exterior angle of hexagon is 60 degree. Last, for 25-sided polygon, so n natin is 25. Substitute natin sa formula, 25 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 25. So, it is equal to what? So, 165.6 degree. So, the interior angle for 25-sided polygon is 165.6 degree. Then, for the exterior angle, we have 360 degree divided by 25 or 14.4 degree. So, we have exterior angle of 14.4 degree. Okay? Next, we have how many sides does a polygon have? If the measure of the sum of interior angles is 2,340 degrees. Okay, so this time, ang given is yung sum ng measure ng interior angles ng polygon. 
which is 2340 degree. Ang unknown is kung ilang side meron nito. So, pwede tayong bumuo ng equation base dun sa formula for sum of interior angles of polygon, right? So, ang formula natin dun is n minus 2 times 180 degree, right? Then, equate natin sa given na 2340 degree. So, pwede natin isolve itong equation for n. So, distribute natin si 180. So, alisin ko muna yung degree symbol. Ha? So, 180n minus 2 times 180 is 360 equals 2, 3, 40. So, 180n, transpose yung negative 360 sa kabila. So, magiging 2, 3, 40 plus 360. So, 180n is equal to 2, 3, 40 plus 360 is 2,700. Dividing both sides by 180 to solve for n, n is equal to 2,700 divided by 180. Or it is equal to 15. So therefore, the polygon has 15 sides. Okay? Next we have, how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of each interior angle is 150 degree? Okay, so this time, given naman daw na meron tayong regular polygon at yung measure ng isang interior angle niya is 150 degree. Hanapin naman natin yung number of side. So therefore, apply natin yung formula natin kanina for the sum of measure of interior angle of regular polygon na n minus 2 times 180 degree divided by n. Then equate natin sa value na 150 degree. Ngayon, solve natin tong equation for n. So, cross-multiply ko muna itong n or multiply both sides of the equation by n para mawala yung denominator na n. So, matitira is n minus 2 times 180. So, alisin ko muna ulit yung degree symbol equal to 150n. Right? Distribute again sa si 180. We have 180n minus 360 equals 150n. So, transpose ko dito si 150n sa left. Transpose ko dito si negative 360 sa right. We have 180n minus 150n equals positive 360. 180n minus 150n is 30n equals 360. Divide both sides by 30. n is equal to 360 divided by 30 or n is 12. So therefore, the number of sides of the regular polygon is 12. Okay? Next, we have how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of its exterior angle is 45 degree? So this time, meron naman daw tayong measure ng exterior angle ng regular polygon which is 45 degree. Then, pinapahanap yung number ng sides ng polygon na to. Okay, so this time, gamitin naman natin yung formula kanina for measure of each exterior angle of regular polygon na 360 degree divided by n. Then, equate natin sa value na given which is 45 degree. So, solve lang natin tong equation for n. We have cross multiplication na lang. So, 360 divided by 45 is equal to n. Right? So, n is equal to 360 divided by 45 or 8. So, therefore, the regular polygon has 8 sides. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, measure of interior and exterior angles of polygons. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.